Hey traders, Akil Stokes here, Chief Currency Analyst and Head Trading Coach over at TradingPower.com and welcome to another Forex Weekend Review video. In today's video, I want to kind of follow up on the video that I put out last Sunday talking about nine habits of high achievers. Now, if you haven't watched that video already, I want you to pause this tape, go back a few videos ago and check it out. Um, and if you have watched it, remember in that video, I asked for your response. I said, let me know which three traits or which three habits do you feel are most important? And well, I went under the YouTube comments, the emails, the Facebook messages, the Twitter posts, even on Instagram, tallied up all the responses. And the one that you guys as a whole felt that was the most important was I invest in skills not in reward. So that's what I wanna talk about today um, in our Week in Review video, what investing in skills really means, and I'll show you an example on a price chart. All right, so investing in a skill, not in the reward. That's basically the same process over outcome philosophy that we tell you guys each and every week. Now, when I first hear the word invest, I think of the word time. And I think of that word in two ways. First of all, invest means you need to put time into what you're doing. Um, skills just don't get developed by sitting here and doing nothing. You have to take action. You've got to, um, Take action, you've got to invest time in working on your skill of trading. Um, it also means that learning a skill takes time. It doesn't come overnight. You can't expect to just say, I'm gonna learn how to trade, I'm gonna learn this skill of technical analysis, and I'll be an expert by tomorrow. No, it, it takes days and months and, and maybe even years for some. I actually got an email from a client of mine um, saying this, he said, um, I, will, I will continue to back test until I can build a portfolio. Nope, 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 nope. Um, yeah, he said, I will continue to back test until I can build a portfolio of a few pairs. Then make a trading plan and forward test before going live. After that, I will continue to back test and add some more pairs. And after that, adding more pattern formations. And when I'm comfortable with pattern trading, I will add structure trading. At first thought, man, this is gonna take a very long time. It may take a year or so uh, before I can add structure trading to my portfolio. I'm feeling a little stressed out because others can do it faster, but now I truly understand, or at least I think I do, what you guys mean by treating trading as a business. If you build a real business, it takes time to prepare before you can launch the business many months or even years. I want to do it the right way. And that's a perfect example of making that investment. This trader um, who's coming through our course is doing it the right way. He's planning out his goals, what he wants to achieve in time, but he fully understands that it's not gonna happen overnight. And I responded to this trader saying, I think the best course of action is to go about it this way. Learn one strategy first. After you learn a single strategy and you master it, now you gotta go through the back testing and the forward testing and all the fun stuff that you know allows you to be 100% confident in it. But once you have a proven strategy that has a positive expectancy and you're going about consistently trading that strategy day in and day out the markets, that's gonna open up time for you to learn the next thing. So essentially you can learn a new skill while um, benefiting off the hard work that you put into learning the last skill. And I know that's something I did for a while in my trading. I started off trading advanced pattern formations only, and I, I really traded a few pattern formations. I did that for about two years, but while I was consistently profitable trading those pattern formations, I was learning how to trade structure and trend continuation and, and counter trend trades as well. Um, and it did take some time because it, it's hard to focus on I was doing education and trading and trying to back test, but it was I was able to make a seamless transition to adding new um, new strategies to my portfolio without rushing it. Um, so I think that's the proper way to go about trading. Learn a single strategy first, then add strategies later. Now, what single strategy is a good one to learn first? It really doesn't matter. It's all about what's uh, up to your comfort level. I know that many of you guys out there like to trade these advanced pattern formations. So I'm gonna show you an example of the chart of 
where where I guess within learning how to trade an advanced pattern formation, the other skills that are important to learn first before you can even go about placing orders and all of that fun stuff. So let's go check out a chart and uh, I'll give you guys a, a pretty cool example of that. All right, gang, let's head over to the price charts. Let's take a look at, let's see, gold, gold. Okay, perfect, gold. Let's delete all of this. That's actually doing pretty good. Let's delete all of this uh, junk we have on the chart. We're doing some, uh, doing some fun stuff in the live room. But let's take a look at gold here. Now, gold, we have an advanced bat formation on the horizon here in gold. I'll pause the tape for a second to see if you guys can see it. I guess I kind of cheated by having it up earlier, but see if you can pick it out with your own eyes before I, I get into it. All right, so our advanced pattern formation is gonna look something like this. Boom, to boom, to boom, to a completion point somewhere up in this area. And the issue that I see with a lot of traders, and I see this on, on here on TradingView, I see it through email, I see it all over the place, is many traders want to hop straight into trading these advanced formations. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. This is, in my opinion, the least subjective way to trade. And for someone that's new, that for someone that's working on process over outcome and eliminating emotions, it's a very easy way to get started. However, it's a myth that you can just hop into the market and trade these right away. In order to trade these advanced formations, you need to know a few things first. Um, and this is why we lay out my training course in the way that we do. You need to learn how to A, read a price chart, meaning the new structure high, new structure low principles, lower low, lower close, higher high, higher close, outside returns, all of that fun stuff. And B, you need to know how to draw on Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions, because without that, you're not gonna be able to know whether your advanced pattern formation hits the required um, hits the requirements or not, Fibonacci-wise. And I'll show you what I mean here. Um, again, this is called an advanced bat formation, and every advanced pattern formation needs to start off with an impulse leg, right? A swing high to swing low. Um, and then we have a retracement, we followed it up with another extension to the downside. We don't extend, so we don't continue to trend. Um, and then we followed that up with one more extension to the upside, completing at an 886. Let's bring our Fibonacci retracement on from swing high to swing low. And you're going to see that, ah, I almost nailed it. You're going to see that our 886 comes right up here for our bat formation, right? So our entry point is right up here at 886. That's easy. The problem that many traders have is drawing this out in the first place. It's very simple to see when it's in hindsight. It's very simple to see when you're, you're looking at it and reading about it through books, maybe um, doing Google searches, stuff of that nature. But when you break it down, right, you have to know the basics first and you have to invest in learning that skill. If you don't know how to draw a Fibonacci on, if you don't know what swing high to what swing low or, or what swing low to what swing high to draw a Fibonacci on, guess what? You're never gonna be able to determine that decompletion, right? Also, if you don't know how to identify an impulse leg, right, which is gonna be an outside return followed by a new structure low right here, if you can't identify this impulse leg, well, now you don't have an X to A, which is the start of your pattern formation, the most crucial part. You can't draw a Fibonacci retracement on because you don't have that initial leg. And it's going to be very, very hard to pinpoint these pattern formations in the market. So again, invest in the skill of, of learning how to read a price chart first. Learn how to look at the ebbs and flows in the market, swing low to swing high, outside returns. Learn how to draw Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions on um, your price chart before just randomly putting them in places because you're going to be trading these pattern formations wrong you're going to lose some money doing it and more importantly you're going to you're going to you're going to lose some confidence you're going to lose some confidence you're going to be one of those traders that say oh these these funny looking winged pattern formations don't work you know bat formations are bad garley formations are bad butterfly formations don't work um but that's simply because you haven't been doing it the right way. So that's just a quick example. You, we can make the same example for counter trend trading, for trend continuation trading, um, even just general structure trading and even systems trading. A lot of traders think that mechanical systems trading is as easy as just 
plugging in the uh, plugging in the code and watching it run. No, it takes a lot of hard work. And if you're going to be a system trader or even a system developer, you need to do your work and you need to know the basis of learning how to read a price chart. So um, I can't emphasize that point. Um, invest in your skills. And like I said, you guys voted it the number one uh, crucial habit in your trading. Now, if you're someone that is not sure on how to do this, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over to our website, www.tradeempower.com. Right at the top, click this little tabby thing that says learn to trade. Um, sign up for our free notification list while you're at it. Um, but scroll down. You can check all this stuff out later. But here's the, the videos I want you to watch. Number one, I want you to watch the Into the Gray training. Again, three-hour training event, uh, event talking about why and how markets move, OODA loop theory, IPDE, identify, predict, decide, execute, how to read a price chart using the new structure high and new structure low principle. That's the same thing I just talked about when we were looking at gold. And if you're more, uh, if you have questions about Fibonacci's, how to draw retracements and extension on the right way, you can scroll up and uh, Jason Stapleton has two good videos right here. The secret to trading Fibonacci retracements, the secret to trading Fibonacci ex extensions, and all of this stuff is 100% free uh, for you to check out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a great weekend. Um, I had a very, very bad week of trading. It's probably one of my worst weeks ever. Um, and I, I tell you that because, hey, we're fully transparent here at Trade Empowered. I'm, I'm not just a trader that um, comes in and, and shows you the good times and, and brags about being the best trader in the world that never loses. No, I'm a, a real person. I take I have winning streaks. I have losing streaks. And um, that's why we developed the syndicate program. So you can see how professional traders handle themselves when things aren't going as good. Um, so I'm looking forward to starting with a clean slate and bouncing back next week. Um, and until then, plan your trade, trade your plan. Thank you for your support as always. And please continue to hit that like button, share this with a friend. Um, and of course, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. It takes literally less than five seconds to do so. And it's a massive help to myself. So take care, guys, and I'll see you next week.